Now surprisingly, these can be removed quite easily by just using a wet wipe. Oh shit, are you kidding? Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a lip swatch and a review of the newly launched Inside Cosmetics Mega Last Lip Crayons. Now they have come out with 24 shades and I have picked out 8 of them. So as always, you can check the description box below to see the shade names. And for foundation shade reference, I'm NC40 in MAC and in Maybelline, I am 310 Sun Beige. Now, if you have not already, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to which you're not fed whenever I upload. And now let's jump right in the video. Alright, so first let's quickly go over with the features of these lip crayons. Now it says that it's a luxurious matte finish, it delivers rich colour in one stroke, comes with a built-in sharpener, it lasts up to 8 hours and these are cruelty free as well. Now, like I mentioned before, they do offer about 24 shades and they are priced at 220 rupees for 1.3 grams of product. So this is how the packaging looks like. You have the shade, name and number, everything mentioned right here, as well as the manufacturing, the ingredient and all the other information as well. Also, it is a retractable type of a lip crayon and it does become a bit messy, especially over here because of the white packaging. And it comes in this tight cap, like so. And last but not the least at the bottom you have is the inbuilt sharpener. And now let's finally move on to the lip swatches. Alright, so let's go over with the formula of these lip crayons. Now, firstly, these are matte and I mean really, really matte lipsticks, which I will come to in detail in some time. Now, secondly, these are pretty pigmented, like decently pigmented. However, I do prefer going like for two layers to get the full pigmentation. It is very light and comfortable on the lips. So it doesn't feel like you're wearing any lipstick at all. And these are transfer proof and smudge proof as well, for example. These are almost transfer proof. And this, by the way, is with lip balm underneath. So yeah, 
Now these do last for quite a long time on meat lasted like for about six hours and then I had to eat but then in that six hours it did gradually fade in a nice graceful manner like in the inner portion of my lips and this is how it looks like after you have a heavy meal now as you guys can see it does have that lip liner kind of a thing going on and for reapplication you will have to reapply the lip crayon rather than just pressing your lips together now surprisingly these can be removed quite easily by just using a wet wipe oh shit are you kidding okay so there was a power cut and it is back right now obviously and uh yeah so where we left off was about how these can be easily removed by just using a wet wipe or you could use like a micellar water you're good to go and also these do not have any fragrances and i love the fact that it comes with an inbuilt sharpener and last but not the least i love the shades that i've picked out like all the shades that i've picked out i love them all Okay, now coming to the FYIs, there are two points. The first one is that when you initially apply these lipstick, it does have a very slight tackiness to it, which does kind of go off after a minute or so, but it does have the tackiness in the initial application. The second point is that if you have fine lines or wrinkles on your lips like how I do, then it will kind of emphasize them. Now moving on to the cons, there are two points. The first point, like I mentioned before, these are matte. But then during the initial application, it kind of tugs and pulls your lips while applying it. So for me personally, I prefer my lipsticks or lip crayons to be at least smooth. Not creamy, but at least smooth in initial application. Now there is a worker on it which I was trying to figure it out. Now I applied it with a lip balm, like a full on lip balm and I applied. None of the color actually went on on my lips. Like it was not applying at all with the lip balm on. So what I did is I took off the first layer of my lip balm. My lips were still a bit moisturized. Like, you know, you can feel that slight thin layer of lip balm. And then I applied it and it went on completely fine. For that, I had to layer it a couple of times. And this is how it looks like. So yeah, there is a work around it but just the initial formula of it is why i'm putting this as a con but the second and the last con is that these after a while when you do press your lips together it does crumble and it becomes all crumbly and granulated and it looks very patchy the color kind of comes off in a very weird manner so yeah this is quite similar to the mars uh, lip crayon as well but that one was a lot more crumbly than these but it does happen so yeah that's why i'm putting this as a con as well and uh, if you are still planning to buy it then i would highly highly recommend wait for a sale do not pay full price even though it's only 220 rupees but still don't pay full price for it wait for the price to be a little bit lower and then probably pick it up so yeah guys these were my thoughts on the inside cosmetics mega last lip crayons and this wraps today's video i hope you all enjoyed it if you did do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to notify whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests i will try my visit for you as well as follow me on my socials which is channel on instagram and channel on twitter as well so until the next time take care bye